Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang antiderivative of exponential functions. Let's start with the proof of antiderivative of general exponential functions. So, integral of a to the x dx is equal to a to the x over ln a plus c. So, for the proof, we have the exponential function y is equal to a raised to x, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to a raised to x ln a. So, ito yung base dun sa derivative of exponential functions. Now, uh, kapag na cross multiply natin sila, then we have dy is equal to quantity a raised to x ln a dx. So, yung dx nilipat lang natin dito. Okay? So, if we are going to integrate both sides of the equation, then integral of dy is equal to integral of quantity a raised to x ln a dx. So, integral of dy is simply y is equal to, pwede natin ilabas dito yung ln a dahil yung ln a naman is a constant. So, by applying the basic integration rules dun sa ating previous video na nilagay ko yung link sa video description. So, y is equal to ln a integral of a raised to x dx. Okay? So, then divide both sides by ln a. Then, we have y over ln a is equal to integral of a raised to x dx. Okay? So, Paano siya naging a raised to x dito? So, from the original one, we have the equation y is equal to a raised to x. Okay? So, pinalitan natin yung y rito ng a raised to x since y is equal to a raised to x. So, therefore, integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln a. So, we have here integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln a. At lagi tayong maglalagay ng arbitrary constant c. Okay, so plus C siya lagi. Let's have a quick example. So, integral of 2 raised to x dx is equal to, by applying this formula, so ang a natin dito is 2. So, we have here 2 raised to x over ln a which is ln 2 and then plus C. Okay, so ito na agad yung sagot. Next, we have the antiderivative of natural exponential function. So, integral of e raised to x dx is, is equal to e raised to x plus c. So, for the proof, given y is equal to e raised to x, the natural exponential function, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e raised to x by applying the differentiation rules here. And then, ilipat natin yung dx dito, then we will have dy is equal to e raised to x dx. So, by integrating both sides of the equation, integral of dy is equal to integral of e raised to x dx. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito na agad yung ating integral of the natural exponential function. So, integral of dy is simply y is equal to integral of e raised to x dx and then substitute y is equal to e raised to x. Then, e raised to x is equal to integral of e raised to x dx. So, ito yung ating uh, antiderivative of natural exponential function. Maglalagay lang tayo lagi ng plus c. So, let's have the following examples. Number 1, evaluate integral of 5e to the x dx. So, integral of 5e to the x dx is equal to, ilalabas natin yung constant, then we will have 5 integral of e to the x dx. So, we have 5 times integral ng e to the x dx is simply e to the x and then maglalagay lang tayo ng plus c. So, integral of 5e to the x dx is equal to 5e to the x plus c. Next example number 2, evaluate integral of 2 times 5 to the x dx. So, integral of 2 times 5 to the x dx is equal to, ilalabas natin yung constant. So, 2 integral of 5 to the x dx and then by applying the integration rule for exponential function, we have uh, 2 times the quantity 5 to the x over ln 5 plus c is equal to, wala naman tayong makakancel dito, so we have 2 times 5 to the x over ln 5 plus c. Next example number 3, evaluate integral of quantity 3 times e to the x plus 4 times 7 to the x minus x dx. Okay, so this is equal to, uh, integrate natin ang bawat term, so integral of 3 e to the x dx plus integral of 4 times 7 to the x dx minus integral of x dx. Okay, so ito yung in natin dito yung basic integration rule. 
is equal to uh, 3 integral of e to the x dx. Nilabas natin yung constant. Ganon din dito sa term na ito, plus 4 integral of 7 to the x dx minus integral of x dx. So, we have here 3 integral of e to the x dx is 3 is just e to the x. Kaya meron tayo rito 3 e to the x plus 4 times integral ng 7 to the x dx is 7 to the x over ln 7 minus integral of x dx is x square over 2 and then plus c is equal to 3 e to the x plus pagsasamayin lang natin ito 4 times 7 to the x over ln 7 minus x square over 2 plus c that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.